All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for the 6th of October is Wednesday. We've got a new moon in the sign of Libra at 13 degrees happening at 7.04 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Moon, 13 degrees. Sun, 13 degrees. Mars, 13 degrees. So we have a, this is a big deal. Now, 13 degrees, let me show you the chart. It's, it's starting to clear up. <laughs> you know, it was, it was so messy. It was so messy the past two weeks, three weeks. You know, so much going on. It's almost hard to uh, pinpoint what exactly it is that we're feeling. You know, well, all of this, new moons, new beginnings. A lot of energy over here in the sign of Libra. We have four personal planets and we have one in fall venus almost so close getting out of the sign of scorpio however it was extremely important that venus is in the sign of scorpio at its weakest point when we have this new moon this new beginning dealing with uh the other you know libra this deals with our mind you know the air signs all deals with intelligence it deals with information now here, something we've talked about, you know, we use our words, our minds to manipulate other people. And we say, oh, no, we don't. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I mean, corporations are trying to manipulate the dollar bill that's in your pocket into their pocket through advertising, through marketing, through colors, through catchy songs. And you know what I mean? It's like there's all kinds of ways that we manipulate one another all right this is not an uncommon thing this is not something that's going to go away anytime soon so how are we using our intelligence to get over on somebody else this is one aspect of this new moon another aspect of this new moon is understanding that this isn't a solo journey that it's not that you know you might make something but you didn't make all of, you know, it's just like, I didn't make these clothes. I didn't make the chair. I, you know, I, I talk about this almost all the time when, when the moon comes into Libra. We need the other people. We can only do so much that's in our ability. You know, we're probably not hunting the food, cooking the food, making the stove, making the candles, making, you know, cutting down the, the, the wood to create our, our log cabin or whatever it is. This is understanding the relationship with the other. And furthermore, we got to look at anytime we have this much energy in, in the zodiac in one sign, and, and just in general, we have to look at the shadow. What is the shadow side of Libra? Well, the shadow side of Libra, of course, is going to be Aries. So we have an opposition here of Mars, the sun, and the moon opposing to Chiron. This is about self. This is about healing the, the, the whiny, crying little baby inside. And I'm not saying that to make fun of anybody, but we all have an inner baby that needs to just put the pacifier in its mouth and shut it up. You know, <laughs> I love you, baby, but, you know, you're crying too much right now. We have a lot to do. Um, so part of this is understanding it's not about you. And that's why we got to, it's like, you know, it's not about you. This is about the collective. This is about the group. This is not about you and your needs and everybody look at you. So here's a, here's a way to look at this new moon, part of it. You know, you have a motor vehicle, most likely, or a laptop. You're watching this, a computer, a phone, whatever. Okay. Now that, that let's, we're going to just, I'm going to go with the vehicle. This is the vehicle and the vehicle is the collective, all of us, all right? Now, we as individuals, we all have egos, and this is not something that we're gonna ever be able to separate ourselves from. You can't separate yourself from your ego just like you can't separate yourself from your heart. You're gonna cease to be a human being. You know, it's, it's becoming aware of our egos and understanding and having a healthy relationship with our ego, and we're going to talk about that in a moment here because a lot of this deals with relationships. Uh, we have to have a healthy relationship with our ego. Um, so, if the car is the collective, well, this is all the human beings of the vehicle, 
and let's say me, I'm just this one screw that holds, I don't know, a piece of plastic in for the wiring. You know, it's like nobody sees that screw. It's buried underneath the dash. It's buried underneath here. It's a very important screw, a uh, bolt or whatever. It's a very important piece. Okay, that's the piece. That's me. That's what I represent is that single piece, that singularity, that individual thing within the collective of the vehicle. The, the vehicle is the whole. I'm simply playing my part by being that screw and, and doing this. And now where the ego steps in, is saying like, oh, well, without that one screw, this whole car would fall apart. You know, it's very self-serving, okay? Making it about me. It's not about me. It's about safely traveling, getting from A to B, you know, allowing safe passage. It's about the collective coming together to do something, uh, to have a common goal. The common goal here is transportation for a vehicle. It's not just about that one screw. It's not just about that one thing. You know, and, and, and I'm, I'm hoping you feeling that grand air train dissipate. I hope you can. I hope you're, you're aware of what that energy has felt like. Being so up in our minds, so critical in our minds, so upstairs in trying to decipher, you know, should I, should I go on the monkey bar? Should I not go on the monkey bar? Should I go, you know, so it's like, oh my God, we're spending so much time upstairs, you know, the little gerbil spinning the wheel that it's like, just shut, shut it up and do what feels right. You know, it's like, we're moving from this, this, like, I got to think about how I, how this makes me feel. It's like, no, 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 no. How does it make you feel? Stop thinking about it and being, you know, it's, it's a lot of air energy. It's so much air energy. And then again, you know, this like this idea of, of the, this, this screw thing, this is again, the, the Saturn here, you're an individual within the collective. We've got Mercury retrograde here, creating this trine over there to Jupiter. So this is still meaning communication, maybe it's slower paced communication, but reevaluating the communication that needs to happen within the collective itself and understanding that's not just about me. It's not just about me here and what I'm doing and what I'm offering to the community and what I'm offering to the vehicle. And if it weren't for me doing this thing, this would all cease to exist. You know, it's replaceable. We're replaceable parts. This is something what Thomas Edison and everybody created, uh, you know, replaceable parts, the metric system. And, you know, it's no longer hiring a blacksmith to, to create the new screw. It's a replaceable piece. So how well are we playing with everybody? Are we drawing so much attention about ourselves that the collective is like, man, this is hard to hang out with you because you're making this whole vehicle about you, Aaron. You know? So that's one way to look at this. We're making something all about ourselves when this is really collective. There's, there's the energy of being so upstairs in our own minds that we're not fully being present in reality, not fully being present in this moment, not fully being present with the other because we're so upstairs. And is that where we want to be? You know? And it's like, it's, it's funny because there's like, there's a handful of like anticipation and preparation. You know, it's like, oh, you, you didn't bring your glove to the baseball game. And when that fly ball came into the outfield, you couldn't grab it. So you missed an opportunity. So now it's just like, okay, well, every time I go to a baseball game, I'm, I have to bring my glove. You know, so we, we start to, we do things in preparation because of opportunities that have missed or, or whatever. And we're, of course, we're speaking about the other and mental preparation. It's not just about other people, but this is a relationship with ourself, right? We have the entire life, our entire lifespan, we have to have a healthy relationship with ourself. And we have in a relationship with our mind. Our mind has a relationship with our body. We have a relationship with our emotions. And we have a relationship with our gut. You know, what are we, our chemicals? Are we feeding our gut and our brain our chemicals? And how does this make us feel? How does this make us think? You know, we have a relationship with ourself that's very important. 
Then we have a relationship with the community and the collective that's also extremely important. Then we have a relationship with rest, which is also extremely important. And 13 degrees on the sign of Libra is about a siesta. You know, something here that Americans don't really honor, uh, which is wild. And so, so it's, you know, we just work, just work. Um, you know, the siesta is taking the time, taking this moment to rest for yourself so that you can do what you have to do to be a better service for other people. Now, we're coming from this Virgo energy where the sun's been in Virgo. And the moon was over there last, you know, two weeks ago. The moon was in Pisces. It's about the possibilities uh, of what we can create when we stay focused on a thing. When we're trying to create something, when we have so much energy about change and, and, and new stuff coming about and releasing the past, releasing uh, things that no longer serve us, releasing old parts of our lifestyle and really trying to embrace something that's new. It's Again, there's uncomfortability. Um, when we have all of this change kind of energy going, we have to make sure that our minds have enough rest to be able to prepare and to uh, function going about these things differently, going about things differently, because it's extremely easy, especially if we're not rested enough, if we're not taking the time for ourselves um, to replenish our pot, then we're going to be pouring from a full, uh, uh, an empty cup, you know, so it's important in order to serve, in order to be a part of the community, in order to have a good relationship with the other, I have to have a good relationship with myself. This relationship with myself right now is coming into focus. And not only is it our moon, our emotional needs, how do we feel safe? How do we feel, you know, where can we allow ourselves to be vulnerable? Well, this is saying my vulnerability and my ego are showing up in a place of being connected with the other, you know, um, a place of community, a place of not just sitting in my own mind, not sitting in myself, not sitting by myself, but collectively finding that which, you know, it's funny too, because we've got all of this right in between Saturn and Jupiter. All of this, you know, the uh, uh, Libra air energy. So this is certainly dealing again with the collective. The relationship with yourself, the relationship with your emotions, the relationship with your mind, the relationship with your gut, the relationship with your friends, your peers. You know, uh, the, the past couple of days we've been talking a lot about not losing sight of ourself in our mission and our goals to be, to fit in with the crowd. And then here today, it's interesting, is the astrology saying, well, it's not about you. It's not just about being that one individual screw. It's about being about the collective and helping with the, the collective thing that we're doing. So this is also like coming into a deeper mind understanding of ourselves that, you know, I might be this screw and somebody else might be the wheel and somebody else might be the bolt and somebody else might be, and it's important for me to maintain my individuality. If I start taking the shape of a nail, I'm no longer, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm not good at as, as, as a screw or a bolt. If I start taking the shape as a nail, I'm not, I'm not, I can't do my job anymore. You know, this is like, well, if all the banana trees just wanted to be orange trees, well, we wouldn't have bananas anymore. We wouldn't, you know, so it's like understanding the beauty of who you are and the beauty of what you have to offer, understanding your uniqueness within the collective, uh, understanding that you are a part of the collective and that's okay. You know, that, that we need the bananas and the oranges and the grapes, you know, if, if it weren't for that and this weird little, you know, horn made out of uh, a woven horn thing, we wouldn't have that beautiful art piece that, is that Rembrandt? Is that Rembrandt? The, like the grapes and the little, little piece of fabric flowing down, you know? Anyway, so this is like this collective, this is what, this is the beauty of it, you know, the, all together, all together now. And now we have Mars joining the way as well. So it's like saying, I'm, where is my emotional needs met? Where is my ego being satisfied and fulfilled? Well, this is with the collective. How do we learn more? I, you know, it, it's, it's not, I don't, I'm not going to write, a, I'm not Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius, who ruled uh, Rome for what, 19 years or something like that, wrote a book to himself for himself. 
to keep himself on track. Not many of us are in that same space. So when we're reading and, and, and bringing in information from the other, it's, it's generally somebody else's book. It's somebody else's words to help bring us balance. And so Libra is all about is about balance. We want a balanced mind. We want a balanced gut. We want balanced emotions. We want a balanced relationship with ourselves. We want a balanced relationship with the other. And furthermore, how do we feel when we're being mind played, when we're being manipulated? It doesn't feel good. It doesn't. So how do we go about doing that with the other? How do we go about getting what we want and what we need without trying to manipulate somebody? There's, there's no answer for that. There's, you have it within you. And because Mars is here at 13 degrees as well, this is about taking action. It's not just about mentally uh, judging and it's not just about an understanding taking place, but this is a follow through of action, making sure that we are acting as the balancing board, that we are being the ones to take the initiative to create balance. Now that is not an easy goal. If you are the person that's trying to create balance, you know, that's like, um, Yeah, it's like in a movie when things go wrong, you know, and the bad guy tries to fix the stuff. When they fix it, usually more stuff goes wrong, you know. So it's like if there are misunderstandings, like and we have this, um, you know, sesqui square happening here to the north node in Gemini. This can be confusing. We might see things not eye to eye. We've got a little semi, um, uh, semi square here to the south node. Okay, this is about change and letting it go, letting go of these old ideas, old philosophies. So, in order for us to keep balance, in order for us to keep peace, we have to communicate. We have to communicate with the whole. We have to communicate with the collective. And some of these conversations might not be easy, they might not be met with it being understood. But it's up to us and it's a responsibility to do it anyway. And these three here, Mars, the Sun, and the Moon, all creating this quincunx, a 5 twelfths aspect to Neptune. This is like, hey, we don't know what can come out of this. This is the truth. We don't know what's around the bend. It hasn't been decided yet. If you act... One thing will happen. If you choose not to act and not communicate, then another option is going to happen. You know, and with, my, with uh, Neptune here and, and Uranus making this septile, this is saying it's fate. Your fate is whether you're communicating, you're taking action, whether you're taking time to take a break for yourself, uh, whether you're putting the carriage before the horse, whether you're trying to rush it. Um, you know, and, 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 and this can be aggravated as well with Mars being in the picture and Mars being in its fall, as well as Venus being in the fall, we can be emotionally feeling buried. We can feel that we're doing so much for other people that we're not doing enough for ourselves. We're not taking enough time for ourselves. Um, and again, the astrology reading is saying it's not about you. It's taking time, but it's taking time so that you can essentially be, be back with the other, you know? Let me, <laughs> there's, there's another, another thing that keeps popping up into my mind and I'm like fighting myself. So another thing here is, is, is it's, it's the mind. We're talking about the mind, intuition, and that something's going to pop in your mind. And do we, do we honor the intuition? Do we honor the idea or do we shun it away? You know, and if we roll with the intuition when we're feeling inspired by something, this is what's being taught to me at this moment coming through. You know, when we trust that intuition, when we trust that, this is how this plays out here in expansion of our reality. When we trust that intuition and when we bury the intuition, when we bury it, you know, a whole other outcome is going to happen. And then we, this is how we we're going to manifest fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And if we just... So another thing that's coming through right now, this is a story about the janitor and the president. 
And, I mean, just we can jump to the moral of the story. You know, the president never says hello to the janitor. The janitor every day says hello to everybody. Real nice fella. His name's John. I don't know. So, president one day, the only person in the, in the building starts choking on something. And the president's never, under, never met the janitor properly, never shook in his hand, never met old John there. And uh, the janitor's the only person that's around to save the president when he's choking and about to, you know, die or whatever. But all of a sudden, your life's been saved. You know, there's probably a thousand and two ways of that story, and there's a lot better versions. I'm just kind of skipping it to get to the point here. Is just like it doesn't matter if it's the president or the CEO. How are we treating the other? Are we only being kind and nice to other people when we see a benefit for ourselves? Again, this is not about us. It's not about how we benefit. Sometimes this is just about being there for other people, about us, you know, being the screw, being the bolt, being the, the wrench, being the wheel, whatever we need to do for the other person, you know, that's playing our role. So it's like when, you know, are we allowing ourselves to, to not see this line of beneath or above? And I'm going to, oh, I want to meet that person because of status quo. Or because they have this, and or they're popular, and they got the nice wheezy shoes or something. You know, we have all kinds of, and and this is part of our powers of manipulation. You know, well, I don't need to speak to that person because he's beneath me. I, I don't want to speak to this person because they have something that I like. It's manipulation, and we're, manip we're manipulating ourselves as well during this because we're we're robbing ourselves from a potential friendship or someone that's going to save our life down the road. So we're trying to even out the playing field here with this new moon. This new moon's a big deal. This is a really big deal. And it's cool that it's happening. You know, I mean, it's early in the morning. You know, it's early in the morning. So a good chunk of the world will be sleeping, will be resting. So it's like when we arise, good rising, you know, we're coming into this with new eyes a fresh take on life, a fresh opportunity, you know, to greet our brothers and our sisters, our friends, our family, a relationship, better relationship with ourselves, and, and to nurture that siesta is extremely important. You know, it, it, what does the mind need? What does is, what is the emotions need? What does the gut need? What do I need? What do you need? To put yourself to give yourself rest so that you can replenish and pour from a full cup to be the full you to be the best version of yourself to have the best relationships with the other that's what this new moon's all about my friends have a beautiful new mooning <laughs> i love you and i'll see you tomorrow